My name is Arnaud Zaldanville. I'm a biomedical scientist. I'm working at the ADMC, so the Leiden University Medical Center in the Cell and Chemical Biology Department. I'm specialized in working in type 1 diabetes and trying to understand the molecular aspect of type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes, when we talk about type 1 diabetes, we talk about high blood glucose level. And this high blood glucose level is a consequence of the destruction of the beta cell within the pancreas. This destruction has been described to be an autoimmune disease, so specific and progressive destruction of the beta cell. And this destruction is almost complete in some of the patients. On a personal note, uh, my best friend is diabetes. His son has been diagnosed at the age of two. And for me, it's a source of motivation to uh, work on diabetes. We try to understand why T cells, who is the guardian of the integrity of the body, is destroying the insulin producing cells. We have recently uh, demonstrated that uh, in, in the steps that are preceding type 1 diabetes, in insulitis, the beta cells in the pancreas are surrounded by inflammatory stimulation. And this inflammation that occurs around the beta cells are causing stress in the beta cells. So these unhappy cells in the pancreas, we have found that these cells are making mistakes and these mistakes are seen as a kind of danger signal to the immune system and that leads to destruction of these cells. So the immune system is doing exactly its job, destroying something who is not correct. And for us it was a big, a big breakthrough because for years we thought that type 1 diabetes was a problem from the immune system. Here, the story we published in Nature Medicine last year demonstrates that probably the immune system of type 1 diabetic patient is as good as mine, but the problem is in the beta cell. The consequence in terms of treatment for the patient is that instead of trying to targeting the immune system for a cure, maybe we should refocus on the beta cell and try to de-stress or to make this beta cell happy again in order to prevent their destruction. So I'm extremely proud to, um, to be the leader of this uh, team supported and this uh, project supported by uh, Stirting Dunn and Diabetes Funds. But this project uh, needs also the expertise of uh, Deisio Iseric from the University Libre of Bruxelles with Bart Roop, which is a professor in immunology involved in this project, but also from Bruno Gigas, which is specialized in immunometabolism. And all together we will try to understand how type 1 diabetes develop, understand why the beta cell is a target of the immune system, but also try to find a cure for type 1 diabetic patients. Now what we realize by looking at this fundamental study and also the project we are working on is that there is different type 1 diabetes people, different type of diabetes and uh, our work will be probably to stratify the patient in order to offer to the patient a kind of personalized medicine. Finding one drug for everyone is probably not possible but try to s divide the patient to offer something that will profit the best to the patient, this is probably something that we can aim for, a personalized medicine for the patient. So in the next five years, with the support of Stirting Don and Diabetes Funds, we will try to understand a bit more type 1 diabetes and we will try to find a new biomarker of disease progression in order to propose an earlier diagnostic to the patient and we will try also to find new therapeutic targets to relapse the stress in the beta cell in order to prevent their recognition by the immune system.